So, kind of starting this video a little late. I um, already got one off my truck. Uh, I'm deciding to replace my radius arms. Um, there's one. The reason why I'm replacing them has this crack that decided uh, to happen. But, got one off. I'm gonna go ahead and put one on then I'll move on to the other one kind of probably wondering why I got these bad boys on well there's a lot of mud under there and started falling in my face didn't want to I, I eat a little bit didn't want it in my eyes uh, these are the bad boys I'm putting on I uh, picked them up for 150 bucks their zone off-road radius arms. They fit a four inch to a six and a half inch lift. Uh, I did, I've uh, repainted them with a Rust-Oleum undercoat, the rubberized undercoat paint. Um, turned out pretty nice and smooth looks pretty good almost factory looking to me walk on over here to the other side so you can see what the other one looks like on the truck the old one see they're just resting up on me so got it on this is where you kind of have a problem at least I do with the suspension I have um, you end up having to ratchet that pass. It scrapes the, the shock a little bit. Uh, when you're putting this on right here, you actually have to pull back. I had to pull back here. So that way this bolt could actually go in because it wasn't lined up right. Um, on the other side. You have a bolt that looks like this that fits in between the two welded spots. Um, make sure you don't set it all the way in. Set it out past those so that way you can be able to adjust your radius arm. It gives you a little leeway and then you can rotate it counterclockwise or clockwise and set it in afterwards once you got your bolts in that way everything lines up just right but I put this one in first then I put my back one in then that's when I put my top one in Got her on. Probably when you see all this, I'll have it all pieced together, all these videos. But I'm just kind of showing bits and pieces. Yeah, I don't need to see all the everything else, what's going on. All right, so. One down, one to go. Uh, let's get to it. Oh yeah, got my good old buddy, Rusty, over here. He's just enjoying a day with me. 
Aren't you, boy? Yeah. All right. Well, got her all done. But something I learned on the other side that bolt is an adjustment. It's attached to the little washer. When you're tightening it down, you need to uh, lift up on it so you can get that top bolt in. I didn't really have a way to record it while I was doing it or else I'd show you but I'll zoom in a little bit. You can see the other side. It's attached right there. I have a five inch lift. This is good for a four to a six and a half inch lift. So that little hole is about where mine's sitting for a five. And it's about the same on the other side for this one but you have to use a wrench and adjust it up so that your holes line up so you can get this screw through or else you're gonna be banging, hitting it and lifting it up, trying to get it. I'm wondering why it's not gonna work. But, yep, so out with the old, in with the new. Got them on the ground. Just gonna get rid of them. Don't wanna see them no more. This is the beauty right here. I just updated the exhaust. I got a Flowmaster. It's the Hush Puppy underneath there. Got a, the resonator delete with a five inch tip on it. Did a high temp paint, blacked out the exhaust so you can't see all the welds, nothing rust. But 2016 Ram 2500, 6.4 liter Hemi. But more updates to come. I'm gonna be getting rid of all that, getting getting a better suspension. I just put that on about a couple months ago. That was a early birthday present for me. All right, guys. Peace out.